Ever notice how almost all the continents sit on one side of the Earth, while the other side is nearly all ocean? Welcome to Why Why Now. Let's go. Right now, Earth's map looks lopsided. Turn the globe toward the Pacific, and you mostly see water. Turn it toward the Atlantic, and Africa, Europe, and Asia fill the frame. Why does that happen? Because we're living between supercontinents. Millions of years ago, nearly all land joined into one giant block called Pangaea. When Pangaea cracked, it split along ancient wheat zones in Earth's crust, like carrying wood along old seams. Those scars still guide where continents break and where they come back together. Today, the Atlantic is widening along its mid-ocean ridge, nudging the Americas west and Africa and Eurasia east. Meanwhile, the Pacific is shrinking because plates dive at subduction zones. That tectonic memory, old fractures and deep mantle features, acts like rails guiding the continents. Scientists predict in about 200 to 300 million years, a new megacontinent could form. Names like Pangaea Ultima, Amasia, or Novo Pangaea show different possible endgames. So the continents aren't bunched on one side by accident. Earth's slow geological rhythms and ancient scars are doing the steering. Mind-blowing, right? If you want more future map episodes, like, share, and subscribe, and drop a world in the comments. Thanks for listening. See you in the next Why, What, How, Bye.